Good evening, I'm Andrea Anderson. I'm Brian Allen. The Brookings area evokes a small town feel found in a lot of Midwestern cities. An event scheduled for tomorrow, however, has residents taking notice of the conduct of one of those hired to protect and serve their own. Beth Warden has more on the Brookings officer who could have his law enforcement certification revoked. It is our top story here at 6. Wednesday morning at a conference room at the Ramcota in Sioux Falls, the South Dakota Law Enforcement Officer Standards and Training Commission will work its way through their agenda. The last item is garnering attention as a South Dakota police officer could be stripped of his law enforcement certification. It was the middle of the night last April when Brookings police officer Damian Wheats brought in Isai Hayu for intoxication. Surveillance video shows Hayu handcuffed with his hands behind him. Attorney James Leach, who represents Hayu, tells us what his client endured. Took him and slammed him hard against the wall and then threw him down on a concrete bench hard enough that his head hit against the concrete wall, which knocked him unconscious. Another law enforcement officer confirms the incident and what happened next. This officer, uh, Damian Wheats, then has to take uh, Mr. Hayu to the hospital to be cleared before he can be admitted into the jail and tells the hospital, oh no, he didn't lose consciousness. Tells the hospital he was resisting arrest. Officer Wheat's insurance policy paid for the settlement with Hayu of an undisclosed amount. That settled the civil part of the case. Uh, it's still open whether this officer is going to be charged criminally. And there are more ramifications. Wednesday morning, Wheats is facing a hearing with the South Dakota Law Enforcement Officer Standards and Training Commission where his certification is in jeopardy. The settlement is done. This is all behind you and behind your client. Why is it important for you to be at this hearing? I get into these cases to try to see that not only that justice in a narrow sense is done, but the justice is in a broad sense is done. Leach is requesting to speak at the hearing. We do the right thing and say that this man may never be a law enforcement officer in South Dakota again. We've contacted Wheat's attorney and the Brookings Police Department for comment and have not received a response. Hayu has moved out of state and according to Leach, continues to process the trauma while attempting to move forward. In Sioux Falls, Beth Warden, Dakota News Now.